Hey guys, um, I'm here in the beautiful Canary Islands um, in Spain and I, w there's this magnificent view behind me and I just wanted to, to show this to you guys. Um, I want to talk about a video that's been on my mind for quite some time today. Sorry, not today. It's been on my mind for quite, quite a while actually and I had to gather some, some thoughts, some, some knowledge and just obtain more knowledge, I guess, before I would talk about it and that's the pineal gland. Um, the pineal, what is it, how to power it up, how to use it, and how to after project. Um, before I go into this, there's a few things I want to clear up about the pineal gland and astral projection. There's a lot of stuff on the internet right now that talk about the pineal, etc. And a lot of it is just kind of like noise. Um, there's, there's a few things I want to clear up. Number one is that when you remote view, you don't use the pineal gland. Remote viewing and astral projection and the pineal gland are two completely separate things. Remote viewing uses a completely different gland, a physical gland in your brain. And the energy field of, of your of when you remote view is up here versus the pineal is in the forehead. So. People, some people think that when you remote view, you're using your pineal, but that's actually false. You're not using your pineal at all. Um, it's got nothing to do with the pineal. Um, so that's number one. Number two is, I hear this on the internet a lot where people talk about you only ask to project when you dream and you have to do these kind of like meditations or, or something before you go to sleep. So then you can ask to project. That's not um, entirely true either. You ask to project when you sleep, yes. And that's, that's what happens when people I was on a beach somewhere or I was flying around somewhere, you know? Um, that's that's for you as your spirit, leaving the body while you're, you're sleeping, while your physical body is sleeping, while your conscious mind is out, your spirit leaves, and then you wake up with these quote-unquote dreams, which are actually just you, who you really are, your spirit, going out, having fun, flying, going places, whatever, you know, just kind of getting, getting out of the body because it's stressful for a spirit to be in a physical body, and when you go to sleep and you have these dreams, requires is um, for you to be relaxed and for you to kind of train yourself and that all happens through the pineal gland. So those are two things I wanted to clear up. Uh, you, can, you can ask to project when you're awake and when you're sleeping and remote viewing has is completely different from anything pineal related. You don't use the pineal when you remote view. Now with that said I'm gonna get into the pineal now. So the pineal gland, what is it? Well if you if you go on the internet and use your, whatever search engine you use, Google whatever, and you Google pineal or pineal gland or third eye, you know, um, you'll see where it is physically, and it's about the size of a razor, and that's a, that's that's exactly where it is. Um, that's exactly where the physical gland is, and then you have other glands around it, like the pituitary gland, which looks like kind of like a like an eye that kind of covers the pineal. That also works in conjunction with the pineal, metaphysically. Um, the pineal gland is where is where you produce images, right? When you when you see, when you ask to project, when stuff is shown to you, when you're when you're sitting there meditating. A lot of people, when they first start meditating, when they, they first start relaxing, and it doesn't matter what belief system or or religion you get in. When you first start relaxing, a lot of people say, oh my gosh, you know, I was sitting in my meditation for about an hour, 30 minutes an hour, and then all of a sudden I see faces, faces or eyes coming up, you know, like a big face, a big head right right in my vision as, I'm, as my eyes are closed, or I'll see eyes or something. That's usually other people, other spirit, astral projecting to you, and you see it from your pineal gland, and when you see it, you normally you see just a big head. Sometimes you just see eyes. That's the pineal gland working. Um, the pineal gland works with the pituitary gland. Physically speaking, the pituitary gland looks, looks like kind of like a helmet, right? An eye-shaped helmet that covers the pineal gland. And metaphysically speaking, it's all, it also works kind of similar, where the energy field of the pituitary gland covers the pineal gland's energy field like a helmet as well. And the pituitary gland works with the pineal. It helps the pineal gland high definition images. So your pineal gland produces the images, pituitary gland helps the
the um, Neo produce very high def clear images like when you see a face for example you see a really clear face you see the eyes the nose the skin texture whatever you know and then you have the crown right you have the crown chakra is what the um the ancients in india call it and then you have you know third eye chakra crown chakra the crown actually can be broken down into three parts the lower the middle and the upper crown and the pineal gland actually works through all of them um, to produce images um, and then finally you have the hypothalamus gland and you can actually google um, hypothalamus and you'll see where it's a physical gland in your brain and that works with the pineal as well that works with the pineal to help understand what you see the hypothalamus is all about understanding it's like a, a nexus point where all the energies meet right so when you see something you gotta you gotta understand what you're seeing right or else you're just seeing and that's what the hypothalamus does. Um, that's a basic overview of the, the pineal gland and how it works metaphysically. Um, I should have said this at the beginning of the video. Um, I'm sorry, but my, my name is Frank and uh, I'm a metaphysical practitioner. And all this stuff I'm talking about and all, all the stuff I talked about in my other videos, it's I use my personal experiences and the knowledge that I've accumulated throughout the years of diving into metaphysics, you know, um, studying this, studying that, doing a lot of meditations, doing a lot of... I, now, today, I'm, I'm really um, proficient, I'm much more proficient with it now than I was a couple years ago. And I just, everything I'm, I'm bringing forward to you now is just my personal experience and knowledge uh, and what I've, what I've learned throughout the years um, on, on, how, on, on how these things work and how to, how to use it, etc. And um, I give metability classes with friends and I give consultations they're all spiritual advice the the metability classes are like training sessions on how to use particular energy fields you know how to as project so a lot of the stuff I'm talking about is actually material that that we cover um, in these classes that we give so back to the pineal gland um, the pineal gland is really really good for multi-dimensional scene you can see many many dimensions above and many many below when you when you're looking at spirit and you're doing all this stuff you use your pineal gland to see it uh, remote when you talk about remote viewing on the other hand remote viewing is more in this dimension third third dimension you see well like physical objects very well you can remote view a, a room or something and you can see everything in the room you know uh, furniture whatever the pineal works differently you might astro project into a room and then next thing you know you're going to start seeing spirit all around you know energy all around the room um the uh the pineal gland is is really really interesting when you start using it more you'll actually find when you start really astro projecting and using it you'll find that your your head will start growing it's crazy uh physical brain bones and everything um skull and everything so the pineal gland, when uh, when when you like build your energy up, uh, what a lot of people don't know is that the energy field of the pineal gland actually starts from your throat, right here, right your lower throat chakra, and then goes up, up to the forehead. The actual gland is a small little thing; it's like the size of a raisin, right here in the center of your forehead. But the energy field that it produces is actually right here. So, a good example of of, of that is like lapis. Lazulite, for example, right? The stone lapis. It's a blue stone, and it's it's pretty much known for cranking up and powering up your pineal gland. Well, sometimes you may notice people grab a hold of lapis and then they start coughing or clearing their throats, right? Um, that's because the energy field is working both at your throat chakra and at your third eye, because the pineal gland encompasses all of this, and it does also have to do with speech. It helps you. Uh, sometimes um, so that energy field actually is right here you can imagine it like a, like a half like a half, half like a like a half of a sphere right and it just kind of goes like that right here when you when you um, ask to project right when you when you go somewhere to see something with your pineal because there's two ways to see one uh, one one way is just kind of sitting back relaxing doing your uh, meditations a lot of times people see a lot of a lot of images like energy floating around uh, black blotches
watches, whatever. A lot of times people see this stuff either before they go to sleep, right before that moment when you're just about to fall asleep and right when you wake up. Because these are times where you're really relaxed. And so spirit may make itself shown or you're just seeing stuff that's hovering around in your bedroom or something. Um, so you see, you can see when, when something's just around you or something's brought, shown to you and you're not going out to get it, you're just sitting there relaxing. You know, you're in your meditation or whatever, and then next thing you know, you start seeing faces. Normally, it's your spirit guides that will come up and just start showing themselves because they know what you're doing. They know you're sitting there relaxing. And again, it doesn't matter what what uh, belief system you you're, you're into because when they see you when they see you relaxing, they see your frequencies toning down. They know that it's a good time for them to make themselves shown because they know that you'll be able to see them. So that can happen, or you can go out to see something. That's astral projection. Astral projection is exclusive to the pineal gland. Remote viewing is exclusive to another gland called the scanner, which I'm not going to talk about in this video, but it's a two, there are two different things. Astral projection and remote viewing are completely separate. They use separate physical glands and everything. Um, so you see, you, like you, uh, when you astral project, you, you can go out and you can, you can go quite far. Um, there, you, you have to you have to really relax before you do this you have to relax and then you have to build up your energy because you got to keep in mind astral projection is, is li literally you, you your spirit leaving the body going to see stuff so you really have to build up your energy um, what the ancients in India the, the, the Hindus what they call the Kundalini the core the two snakes that's your spirit going up the core and another spirit but right now it's only you so, like, if you imagine that 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 those that, that um, spiral of energy going up your spine, that's your spirit, and you really have to take that and you have to build it up right here. You have to take all of that as much of it as you can and build it up where your um, pineal gland energy field is, right from the throat up to the forehead, and you have to take it and you have to build it up, build it up as much as you can and release it, and that's how you have to project. Once you release it, you make it, you set the intention in your head. I want to go here. You can you can go on the other side of the world, or you can go on the other side of the galaxy. And there's really no time lag. Um, for me personally, I've noticed that I've been able to the furthest. I think I've astral projected. One, it was like one day I was I could see really well. And you do have on and off days, by the way, where some days you can't see anything, some days you can see really well. Uh, one day I was seeing really well and I decided, okay, I want to go ask to project to, um, I think it was the Pleiades or something, and it took me about, I timed it, it took me about like seven, six or seven seconds versus going across the, the other side of the planet. It's instant. There's no, there's no time lag at all. Um, it's, it's amazing how fast you can travel when you, when you take your spirit and you leave your body. Um, and it's all done through the source field. Greg Braden, the scientist, uh, talks about a web of energy that connects everybody, connects all of our hearts, etc. And it does. It's called the source field. And it's not only a web that connects everybody. It, it's also like a like an ocean of energy that we're kind of swimming in. And you, we, we use this to move about when we remote view or astral project. Um, so that's what you're using, and that's why you can go so fast. You can go anywhere. There's no time lag. Um, the stronger your energy is, the more you've been doing it, the more practice you had, the stronger your, your, your spirit is, the easier and the faster you'll, you'll get to where you're going and the more you'll see. Um, so that's, you know, give that a shot. Uh, next time you guys relax, do your meditation. If you're relaxing, whatever, sit down for five, ten minutes. Some people need a whole hour to just sit down and relax and do nothing before they can do this. And that's fine, you know, because it's, it's, it's all about training and repetition and keep doing it and then you'll get stronger you'll get to the point where you can just sit down within a couple of seconds and you'll just be gone you'll just be going wherever you want to go uh, but when you first start you really have to relax and you really have to train yourself and if, and if you don't have a background in say meditation or something you know then it's, it gets a little bit harder to calm your mind down because you have to really calm your mind down you have to get rid of all the thoughts in your head you really have to relax that's the key to everything you do metaphysically is relaxing calming the head down, calming the, the brain, getting rid of all your conscious thought. That's the killer right there, is that when you're trying to do this stuff and you have conscious thought, it's just going to kill whatever you're going to do and then you have to start over. So that's why you sleep really good right before you fall asleep, is because you're, 
you're about to, you know, go to sleep. Um, so you're not thinking. You're just gonna... So, um, next time, uh, if, if you guys want, um, relax and just calm yourself down, build your energy up, bring it out in front of you, and make it set the attention to go somewhere and just go. Um, there's a lot more involved with the energy fields and, and, and the glands in your head and how they work together, especially with the hypothalamus and the pineal. Um, that stuff, I, I won't go into too much detail right now. And uh, I, there, there, there's some things that can also, that, that, that also help you guys out when you do this. Um, stone energy. I love lapis, lapis uh, lazuli. And that's that's the that's the pineal stone, and also other stones that can help you out is like picture jasper. Picture jasper helps your pituitary gland, which gives you the high definition um, images. So you take the two together and you hold them. We maybe you have a necklace of beads or something. All that works. Uh, clear quartz and citrine. Uh, citrine helps you focus on what you're doing and seeing, and also gives you clarity. Clear quartz is just straight up clarity. It gives it gives you a clearer image. You know, sometimes when, when we go see stuff, we might it might be foggy. There might be shadow, and that could be for a whole number of reasons. Um, you may be being blocked. You may just not be seeing well. Like there's a whole there's a million different variables as to why that could be. But clear quartz is just an overall like it helps gives you more clarity in what you're seeing. So there's stones you can hold on to as you're doing this. Uh, selenite stick selenite just gets everything up up and running. It's an activator. It's good. It's good too for the uh, pineal. Um, so give that a shot, and that's that's the very very basics of of the pineal gland and how to do it, and how to use it, how to start using it. There's no uh, there's no mudras or chants or none of that. You just you just relax and you just flow out. You go in, relax, and flow out. It's very simple, but it is hard to do, and it does take time. And um, so thank you guys for, for watching this video, and I hope you guys have fun uh, Relaxing and stuff like that. Take it easy. Remember none of this stuff is too serious You know just just take it easy and have fun with it and before you know it you'll start seeing stuff uh, Stuff will be shown to you if it's if it hasn't already for me when I first started meditating back in 20, 2011 2012 Stuff was images, you know faces were coming to me, and I had no idea what they were but it was it was that early and this is before I knew anything about pineal or astral projection. And it was that early that I started seeing stuff. So you know, take it easy and just relax and flow out. Um, thanks guys, thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoy this beautiful view. <laughs> Bye. So guys, I uh, just wanted to show you guys the island. Um, look at this view. I mean we started hiking over there, right? There's like a little village over there. It's beautiful, gorgeous little village. And we just, we've been walking along this trail, like all starting from there, all the way over here. You know, now we're here and now we're just, and the flora and the fauna on this island is just gorgeous. Like it's not, it's like nothing I've ever seen. I mean, this island reminds me of like, if you look over here, like it reminds me of like Lord of the Rings. <laughs> but, uh, it's just it's beautiful and I wanted to just show show this to you guys um, and, and the sun's coming out too it was a cloudy day which actually makes perfect lighting for footage but now the sun's coming out and I could feel it getting a little warmer so yeah